woman out of like a hundred people. So that, you know, came up then too. But, you know, I just told him to kiss my ass. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I hate to put it like that, but that's, you know, I just try to brush it off. I have a thick skin, so, you know. How about your... I've been in all kinds of situations, huh? How about your father? How how did your father felt about you getting into trucking? I mean, of course, dude, nobody wanted me to get into this. You know, they did everything they could so I wouldn't get into this. Mm-hmm. They're like, no, you have to go to college. You have to do this. You have to do that. You know, it was like all in a timeline making everybody else happy when, you know, I hated corporate America. Mm-hmm. You know? So you say in corporate America. No, no, no poor. one wants What happened? I say you say in corporate America is boring. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, get me yeah, out of here. Get, get me out of here. I'm just sitting here thinking about driving the truck. <laughs> <laughs> in my That's cubicle. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Oh my God! Did you go to Did you go to school, uh, a trucking school, or did you go to a trucking company to get your license? I went to a trucking company. Okay. Um, I actually went to, um, well, it used to be Central Refrigerator, right the mm-hmm. but then they got bought out by um, Swift. And you went to the Swift Academy. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't the Swift Academy back then. <laughs> they had like <laughs> they had no connection back then, you know. But then, like I said later on, probably about seven or eight years later, so it was a totally different company. Oh, okay, okay. So it wasn't. It wasn't the Swift Academy so back no, I then. Never drove. No, 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 no. So back. You no, know, it was Central. Back then, since you 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 took the route that you took, uh, did you have to stay with the stay with the company for a little bit before they paid off your your balance, or did something happen that forced you to leave and you'd be like, I ain't paying this? Well, yeah. So it, with them, it was like a year long contract that you had to fulfill, mm-hmm. or if you signed a lease with them, a lease purchase then they would forgive the student, you know, that student loan debt or whatever they want to call it. What? So that's what I did. <laughs> so, you know, I wouldn't recommend anybody do this, but this is just the path that I took. So, because, I mean, I didn't know anything about the business. I just did it just to get rid of the debt. Mm. So, <laughs> um, I after, I think it was three months of, like, driving company for them, I signed, you know, a lease. So that's how I got rid of it. Mm. <laughs> so how 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 much longer after you signed the lease and in your opinion at that time, what was the lease like? I mean, was it successful for you? Was it hard for you? No. Yeah. No, nobody was successful in that lease, which is why they had a class action lawsuit and we actually all the drivers got together and sued them because it was predatory lending and all kinds of stuff. Like not one person completed that lease. Okay. Now being that you was in the corp, being that you was in the corporate world, you, you pretty much had a good idea on, on, on what was going down as far as, as far as that class action lawsuit goes. Right. Oh yeah. 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 I knew like, I mean, I knew, like, the whole lease was illegal. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that, but it was just, you know, I had to get my foot in the door and, you know, do what I had to do. Okay, that's what's up. I was just waiting for it to blow up on him. What was the the hardest part for you uh, becoming a driver back in the day? The hardest part? Um, Yeah. Probably the back end. I mean, uh, that was just, you know, that was like my trip tonight. Um, I could drive 650 miles, but I couldn't back up 50 feet. <laughs> you said you couldn't you know, back, I just you had like you a back up a lake, huh? No, <laughs> I just had like, you know, the first couple months, you know, I had a time with, but after a little while, you know, I got it. But 
that was like the hardest part for me back then. Okay. Now I'm gonna assume uh, that Central what 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 was it called Central Freight Southern Freight. Refrigerated. Oh, Central. What was it again? Central Refrigerated. All right, so Central Refrigerated. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna assume that that was one of the worst companies. But throughout the throughout the 15 years that you driven how many companies you drove for and which ones that you that you feel was good and which ones that you feel that was kind of eh, I don't think I will go back well let's see how many have I spent let's see it's been one two three four probably about like eight companies I guess okay. seven or eight okay um, but I've been an owner operator for a lot of those years. So, you know, whether I was in these trucks or, you know, like the last, um, probably 10 years, I've, you know, just owned truck, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um, wasn't a lease or anything like that. So, okay. okay. Um, but I was just leased on, you know, using their authority and their insurance. So, um, probably I'm gonna say out of the seven or eight, uh, maybe three of them were good. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Throughout your 15 years of driving, uh, NY, do you do you have you ever been in a incident or accident, or have you ever seen an accident that kind of made you? think twice about the uh about the career decision that you made in trucking well i've never been in an accident no but um i mean i've seen accidents but they don't make me think twice so i can't really say you know i can't really say that i have it just makes me more cautious you know if anything okay you know, to see the mistakes that maybe other people have made, but it doesn't make me want to change my career or anything. Is there, is it, being a female driver such as yourself with 15 up under your belt, is there, has there been a time that you, has there been a time that you uh, feared being out here in the industry? Mm, I can't really say that I have, no. Okay, that's, no. that's what's up. That's what's up. Why do you think? Why do you think? Fem- <laughs> why do you think female drivers uh, don't get the respect that they deserve? Well, because I mean, we're in the minority. You know, I mean, we make up like about six percent of all drivers for one thing. You know, so it's definitely male dominated, and you know, a lot of people still have like that old school. You know, women should be in the kitchen. They should be barefoot and pregnant. They shouldn't be out here. They should be home taking care of their kids and stuff like that. So, you know, I think that's the reason why. You know what? I think us drivers, us male drivers, got to at least give the women some damn kids in order for them to be home with the kids. Don't you think? (laughs) Yeah, but, you know, sometimes they do have kids, you know, and they're, you know, they're still wanting to fulfill that dream to be out here, you know, which they can, you know, if they have the support at home, you know. Um, other times, you know, they they just have to do something to support the kids that they have because the men don't step up, you know. But that's another story, so. Mm. Especially millennials. Let me stop. Anyway. <laughs> what? I said Millennials. <laughs> oh oh my god yeah yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah that that genre i'm glad i'm from i'm I'm glad i'm from the baby boomer age mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Woo. i tell my kid all the time like bro you you you're on xbox playstation and all your friends is is clear across the country and all like that no mine was right there at the arcade you know, when it got dark, that's when we went in the house, bro. Right. <laughs> oh, d- uh, Dad, uh, uh, this this the new age, Dad. You got to catch up. 
Yeah, okay. I'm 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 <laughs> falling right behind you, bro. <laughs> uh trucking school uh trucking school back in back when you was uh you know, getting your CDLs and everything. What do you wish that you would have that they would have taught you that you learned out here the hard way? But I learned out here the hard way. Hmm. That's hard to answer, really. I mean, because I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of was already in the lifestyle, you know, having all those people around me that drove. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there was anything that they could have taught me, you know, like other than, you know, the basics, the driving, the backing up, you know, things like that. So. I mean, they caught that. So I don't think there was anything else, to be honest. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. What about um? Have you, so you have you drove all forty eight, or you you was just uh, regional? Yeah. So you drove all forty eight. I've driven. Yeah, I've driven all forty eight. All right. So since you've driven all forty eight, which which state that you hate driving in the most? What state do I hate driving in? Um, Georgia. <laughs> Why did I think you was going to say that? Why? <laughs> Everybody hates Georgia. Oh, God. Yeah, I figured you might have seen some of my TikToks. I don't know, because, you know, I call it AP Hell instead of ATL. Why? Why do you? Why? Why do you? Why do you hate driving in Georgia? <laughs> they have no respect for drivers. They mm. can't drive. It's just mm. a madhouse unless you get in there, you know, at the right time of night, early morning, you know, to where you don't hit the traffic and stuff. It's just they can't drive. You know, the whole city shuts down if it's like, or the whole state rather, shuts down if it's snow and ice or, you know, just like a inch of whatever happened and that's it highway shuts down you know where i'm from we could get feet and nothing happens you know you know right yeah we we know all about the northeast <laughs> snow man yeah that's that's yeah, why it's really every, annoying i mean I keep off. that's why everybody in a mama running down to damn georgia bring your ass back up here <laughs> right Every female that I come across, every female that I meet, like, yo, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, so what do you do for a living? I'm I'm a truck driver, you know, I drive all over. Oh, okay. Where you stay at? I stay in Ohio. Where you stay at? Georgia. The fuck? Right. God. So are you willing to move up to Ohio? No. Well, then I'm damn sure not willing to move down to Georgia. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Well, NY Trucking yeah. Princess, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate uh, you jumping on and uh, hollering at me and all like that. How can uh, how can people find you? Oh well, they can find me on TikTok uh, under, of course, NY Trucking Princess, or Instagram under that same name. Or um, Facebook under my name, which is, um, it's on TikTok, so. <laughs> there you but go. I don't Let's normally see. add people that I don't know on Facebook. You know, they can follow me on Facebook, but I'm not going to add you, you know. Exactly. So. That's, that's, I, I'm, I'm the same way when <laughs> it comes to Facebook because, I mean, I don't do, I, I don't do much on Facebook. You know, a lot of guys that, you know, that that see me and they you know they get to know my government name because i'm in a lot of groups unfortunately facebook right. you know back in the day uh i say maybe about five ten five i don't know how many years ago but i i know one day i opened up my facebook and i was locked out and right. i got i got an email saying hey L uh LaShawn, that's my name. Hey, LaShawn, uh we don't we here at Facebook don't think that this is your name because you know I have my name 
and I have my name and my uh and my tag name, which is Lockout Men on Facebook. So my name on Facebook was Lashine Lockout Men. So they mm-hmm. they they sent me an email. They said, well, in order to get access back to your Facebook account, you had to send us a copy of your ID so that we can actually add your name. So I'm over here rocking back right. and forth like, bro, like. People don't know me. The people that I know, I give them my Facebook page. What is, I don't get it. So I sent them an email back telling them that I had reservations of putting my government name on Facebook. And then they was like, well, mm-hmm. well, you can open up, a, you can do a, a fan page or whatever, whatever, but to actually have a page, you know, so that people can find you. You know, so that so that your friends can find you. I'm like, nigga, I don't have no damn friends like that. So yeah, I had to I, I had to send them in my my ID. Me and a and a whole host of a lot of people had to do that too in order to get their Facebook page back. So right, I got I got it back, and like I said, a lot of people you know like to you know, like to send me friends requests. Here's the thing with that. If you send me a friends request in Facebook and I hit you up in the messenger asking you where you know me from Mm -hmm. and, and, and you, and either you don't tell me right then and there, or if you don't respond to me, you know, like couple of days, then no, bro. (laughs) <laughs> I didn't know. Exactly. What, what is the point of you sending me a friend's request and I, I I chop it up with you in the messenger? Why is it taking you so long to to, to respond to me? I know you see the notification. Right. You you see the notification when I send it to you. So why is it taking so long for you to respond back? I don't get it. Exactly. So yeah, so I yeah, I don't deal with that. Like I said, you know, they could follow me on there. You know, I I don't know. I'm very opinionated, so I will let you know that. So, you know, if opinions aren't your thing, then, you know, keep it moving. Hey, you know what? Since <laughs> you said that, I probably might have you to come in on a on a couple of good topics that I got coming up in a, in the future to get your opinion on. <laughs> that that will be that 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 now that will be something. <laughs> because I got I, I got a I lot I my tongue so I got a lot of topics that that uh that yeah I got one young lady that that you know she's a regular on my podcast and yeah she's she's very uh opinionated also so definitely mm-hmm. all right well I'm going to go ahead and let you go I'm I'm assuming you drive nights so I'm going to go ahead and let you go so yeah. you so you can get go ahead and get some sleep but I really do appreciate you taking the time and uh chopping it up with me all right so again <laughs> thank you very much for coming on I really do appreciate it I appreciate you giving me some time yeah, no over problem. here the best conversation starts over here on the Lockout Man podcast show. So if you guys want to get on and holler at me, make sure you text the show. That's 216-600-2090. That's like MY Trucking Princess. Thank you, ma'am. You get some sleep and stay safe out there. All right. You be safe. All right. I'll holler at you later. Peace. Okay. Will do. All right. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud, I give them no power. Creators of different ages, who know them later, what will be ours? I keep an eye up for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get angry. Oh.